Who's filming this and for what purposes? But anyway, um, just to edit it. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to, Dave and I are going to splice this down. So we just get you <laughs> saying really <laughs> controversial <laughs> things. It'll, it'll be much worse out of context. Yeah. Lassagari, <laughs> uh, post digital session. Seventh of the ninth of the ninth. Um, out fringe. What's it about? Well, it's about post digital, isn't it? which is, uh, you know, we're trying to challenge people's focus on technology, we're trying to move the debate on, we're trying to freshen things up, perhaps a bit of a paradigm shift, I don't know, we'll see what happens. It's not all down to us, you know, there are other people involved, it's going to be a bit of a discussion, we'll see if we can get people talking, we, we honestly don't know, but we have got the right kind of venue for it, as we appear to be starting a new political movement, which is, what, is not our intention. It's, it's lovely. It's and the right room for it, though. I, 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 would, I would say it's a committee meeting of a local darts organisation, but, but there's, there's too much manga on the wall. And is VLE dead, Dave? The, the VLE is... Uh, I can't comment. I feel the pressure of video. Um, this session is going to be uh, not just me and... I'm Dave White, it's Rich Hall here, my associate. <laughs> um, yeah. Everybody gets two minutes, okay, including me, because it seems, you know, like new principal theory, I have to apply the same thing to myself as I do to everybody else. So that's a very rough two minutes. <laughs> What does it all mean? Let's, we're not trying to re reveal a new theory or concept. We're pointing towards a transition that we think is taking place, has been taking place, will be taking place. There are other people on the interweb who have used the term post-digital before us, so it's, it's not something we're trying to retain ownership of. Email. Who talks about email anymore? No, right, out. <laughs> email is gone. It's become culturally normalised. It's post-digital, okay? The question that, that would be useful to consider, well, useful, we'll find out, we'll work that out in an hour or so, is what does that mean our role as ed tech, stroke academic, stroke whatever we do, what does that mean for us, okay? If this transition is taking place, what does that mean for us? Does, does that mean our role has to change? Does that mean we need a whole new approach, okay? Because I think, this is my opinion, that most of the really difficult issues or the important substantial issues are becoming cultural or socio-political or however you want to describe them rather than specifically technological. Where I'm coming from in the East Midlands in an area with high levels of socio-economic deprivation, our institution should stand for being a social enterprise that tries to make affiliations or associations with other people. And for me the processes, the procedures, the technologies, the organisation of my institution, the information that is to hand for decision makers to make decisions and to act and for us to act are all secondary. And actually the primary thing that we should be discussing is what our institutions stand for, what our vision is, how we're going to make the world a better place, how we are in fact going to emancipate our learners. Any discussion about technology, as far as I'm concerned, is wholly secondary and should be recognised as being secondary. I then come back to actually Dave's point about within our institutions, what do we as learning technologists, professional development uh, developers, leaders, managers, what do we stand for? How do we inform that debate? <laughs> e learning is the mainstream. Uh, um, personally, I get quite frustrated about people saying that it doesn't matter because you can do things with technology that you can't do with technology. And if technology doesn't work, then things go wrong. This idea that, that you're purveying like, the next, like the solution to stuff. Well, you don't actually, most people who work with this stuff don't think it's going to solve all the problems. As an individual, you can sit here saying, well, I don't buy into that. But you're complicit in a whole set of discourses that are about selling hardware into the market. I mean, selling hardware into schools and universities is one of the, um, software. It's one of the biggest markets. Unless we're quite specific and quite vocal in criticising the way in which that's presented as a solution to other people, then we are effectively complicit precisely with the major multinationals who do sell to government and to industry and who are helping to shape white papers and policy to say this is the way things should be going. You know, unless you're criticising it, you're actually in it. Think of the impact of the banda on schools. <laughs> major innovation that changed so many things. The impact of television on teaching and learning, that made a huge difference. And a lot of the cases that exactly found and actually what digital does is amplified something that already was a change. The huge change is that before learning was limited to institutions or to public libraries, those are the sources of learning. What we now got is a massive resource for learning which takes place every day outside the institution. 
Now, why educational technology has been focused on institutional learning is for me an absolute scandal. We have the uh, institutional repository. And our social change, we talk about openness, we talk about the ownership of our means of production, our scholarly thinking, our open educational resources, our research, and we want to take these back from the, from the monopoly. What happens very often is technologies are driven by industrial capitalists, all sorts of, uh, of economic reasons of one sort or another, but the, the, uh, they're all double-edged swords, the cats are out the bag, and it's, they're then open and available to people to use in a whole variety. And if we're interested in questions of power, and inequalities and social justice. Actually, one of the things that we want to do in that situation is make the technologies that we use not invisible. You want to talk about the power relationships and the things that they enable and don't enable. So I'd question the premise that the shift towards things becoming really natural is necessarily a good thing if you have the aim of empowering your users. Uh, if, if technologies are invented before you were born, you don't see it as technology. How many people here, if, uh, if, out of us, think of television as a technology? I always think, I sometimes think that we as learning technologies should do ourselves out of a job. And then I realise technology does move on. You say about waiting for, there will be another Twitter. What is the role of a learning technologist? Is it the pushing of learning or is it the pushing of technology? I think too many of us, not necessarily anybody in this room, push the technology because we do like shiny things. Shiny things! You! Yeah, I am Sam What's the question? About whether the VLE is dead. Um, no.